Welcome to the channel, or welcome back. Today we're on Medbed Taiga because tomorrow is the update of the Granite update with the New England Mountains update and the new gun. So it's hashtag Moose Monday, hashtag Medbed Monday, and hashtag Muzzy Monday because we're using the Cap Lock 50 Cal muzzle loader. And we're checking out my Medbed map because I haven't touched this map since population reset with Revan Tuli Coast. I have no idea what I've got on it for Moose. And I used to love this map for moose hunting. So we're going to see, is it still the king? And the place you should be going to to grind for the great one moose. So if you like this kind of content, you like the Hunter Call of the Wild, Way of the Hunter, Hunter Simulation, Shooter Games. Be sure to sub and ring the bell. Give me a like and share the video with a friend. All that helps me grow. You guys know the deal. It just helps YouTube know that you guys like this kind of content and more people need to see it. So with all that said, without further ado, let's jump right in. I don't plan to spend too much time hunting moose just because we've had a lot of moose content recently and this gal is just coming right to me holy cow and I know we're gonna have a lot more here soon but with the update of the great one moose we're gonna be doing a lot of grinding so I don't want to bore you guys with too much moose content but I'm gonna take this guy down he's getting really close or not. Maybe he will go down. Yeah, he's going down. But I know we're gonna have a ton of moose content. And like I said, it's gonna be flooding the channel. So we're not gonna stay focused on moose, but I just wanna show you guys how good Medbed is. It's been a minute since I've been on it. I haven't even touched this map, like I said in the intro. Since the population reset, I've touched it on multiplayer servers, and I just know how well it does on multiplayer. So figured we'd come and see what I have for initial spawns. Show you guys the hot spots that I like to check out if you're only going to be doing the multiplayer aspects, or if you're going to set up a grind, you'll have to find all your zones. But it's pretty easy to do, and it just takes a little bit of time. So personally, I, this and Yukon are my two favorite maps currently for moose hunting. Well, and here he is, that small little three. I think a really good spot, actually, if he was a trophy for a photo. But let's see, 181, got him with a single left lung. I could have sworn, maybe because he was walking, but we were aiming right there. Come on, come on, game, come on. But good looking guy, nonetheless. And we're gonna jump over to a few other spots, probably take one, two, maybe three more moves. Hopefully find something good. And then I want to switch over to kind of reindeer focus. Reindeer something I haven't gotten a good reindeer of in a really long time. Still haven't gotten a diamond. So, you know, that's something I want to look into. Is this being a fresh map, you never know what you're going to find. Oh. oh, we're moving in the right direction there. Not with that guy. That guy's tiny. But decent level four with my least favorite rack. I mean... Just a goofy looking rack. But we're gonna get up there, take him out. That's the first herd of bulls that I've seen in this area. It's been all cows. Usually this area is pretty good to me, but today, not so much. All right, we're within 150. I'm comfortable with this shot, especially on moose. They're such big animals. Easy to get into that single lung. Eh, I was gonna say, should have been easy. Yeah, the problem with Medved, and the only issue I have with it when you're hunting moose, especially along this northern coastline, or right here, kind of in the center by this big lake, is all this shoreline has moose, and it's a hot spot for them, but the tree coverage sucks. All this tree cover, it makes it harder to hunt them. You gotta really look into, into the trees, make sure you're not missing them. It used to be, I mean, look at all these twos, holy cow distraction but two 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 jeez used to be they would kind of be further out right near the actual like water's edge and now not so much but that's okay it's 
still pretty easy to find them so you get them in like this closer to the trees not so much into the trees and then some you actually get in the trees which is when it's difficult to track them down dragon's not too hard though if you make a good shot they go down pretty quick and are bleeding a good amount so the blood's easy to see but here's this guy nice level four again one of my least favorite racks this one's not actually too bad it's when those are really narrow and just kind of straight they don't have that curve on the inside there really bugs me don't like that rack but good level four 207.51 weighing 542 kilos and let's see if we can't find at least one more moose to take there we go another one looking the same let's see how far he is i thought he was closer than that so about 100 meters we'll get this Okay, thing out. Go ahead and take him down real quick. Being a good shot. Yeah, I should get a double lung there. And again, this is the issue. So while we're here, we're gonna start talking hot spots. So two that I mentioned is along here. I didn't find all the zones. I was a little early. But all along here, you'll find them. Further north, you'll find them all along the coastline up there, just north of the outpost. I've never found them further along this little lake usually i need to check these three lakes i think they're there sometimes this lake's gotten pretty good it used to be all cows but now you're getting more and more and then this lake here it's one of my favorites to go to you can see four zones there good lake to go to and check it out but that's the moose but like i said another hot spot to check is where we're at now and that's all these lakes here and like i said up here it's a little hard because of the coverage and these ones have a lot of it a lot of tree coverage a lot of reeds makes it a little bit harder to hunt but here's this guy got him down wait or what not weighing weighing 552 scoring 217.94 decent moose to take and i'm gonna just keep looking around on these lakes see what we can find and then i'm gonna switch it over to reindeer time we'll see if we can't find ourselves a good reindeer to take down now, before we take the last moose of this hunt together, let me show you why Medbed is such a good map for moose. We're here at Jet, yeah, the Spring Lake, whatever, or Lake Taiga. Um, and all of these are moose drink zones. And I'm sure I probably missed a couple along that area and that area there. But that is why this map is so good for moose. I mean maybe three or four of these are cow only but there's multiple bulls in some of these and then there's this one where we have just the one but well not just the one we also have a cow but just the one bull and that's why i think medved is one of the better maps along with yukon if i had to pick he put a gun to my head and said pick i'm picking yukon that one's pretty easy for me there's a lot less dense tree cover and stuff that they just hide in so it's just, in my opinion, the better map to go with. So definitely keep that in mind. We're going to see what New England Mountains looks like. I'm watching some of the other content creators in the space that have early access. And it's looking pretty good. It looks pretty thick as far as tree coverage goes, but it looks like they're actually outside of it, kind of like this, when they're drinking, which is what I would hope for. All that rambling, just to get to this guy, then about 100. 100 meters. Oh, I kind of flinched there. We got him. We got him. And I twitched my, twitched my wrist when I took the shot. And he's down right there. So pick this guy up. And then I do really want to check out my reindeer population. I know reindeer got a big buff here as well. As far as population is pretty big. There's a lot of drink zones to check. And then after that, we have the musk deer as well. But I don't want to make this video drag out too long. So if we have time, I'll check out the musk deer. That just depends on how good our reindeer hunting goes and now this level three moose small guy died in the reeds he scored 173.25 weighing 520.03 kilos that's the last moose of today's hunt well can't guarantee but that's what we're shooting for now reindeer focus well we'll just start out at the lake we left with the moose and see what we've got i know we've got this herd over here and that's probably the ones we're gonna focus on there's a three but there's that four there a small four not a diamond but hey beggars can't be choosers it is a four so we'll go over 
try to take him down and then see what else we've got as far as reindeer on this lake. All right, we're about in range. I'm comfortable with that, especially using the 308. As long as I remember to bump my zero up. And we'll let him go ahead and stop walking. I don't want to shoot him while he's walking. I keep messing those shots up. There we go. Sink it right in. Yep, nailed him. Nailed him. Let's go pick that guy up. Like I said, he's a small four. Uh, they're, they're just like caribou. They have to be so massive to be a diamond. And it's it's rare to see them. I think these are some of the hardest animals to get a diamond on because they troll and it's hard to find that level five. And here he is looking at him. Small guy. What do you score? 284. A level four. That's a silver. That's what I mean. I mean, that just, it's so ridiculous. It, I mean, yeah. Let me look at that though. <laughs> He's touching. Tip to tip is touching. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. Okay. Anyways, we're going to ignore that and see what else we have on this lake. Oh, well, that guy's got a really nice rack on one side, really wonky on the other side. Totally not symmetrical and pretty standard, which you expect out of a reindeer or a caribou. It's to look like that. Then we got another guy right there. He's pretty small, but I like this other guy quite a bit. I think we're gonna have to 22 this guy. Let's do it. Just kind of shoot up in the air. He's turned around. And boom. Boom. Boom, boom. We say boom, boom. Let's go pick that guy up. Look at this wonky guy. Just absolute killer rack on one side. Horrible rack on the other. I mean, it's not a bad rack on the left, but that right rack just, oof, man. Let's see what he scored. 362.27, dark brown weighing 177. And look at that, just, just goofy, goofy, goofy. Very funny, very funny looking. The bummer. He's up there though, at least he's a gold. At least he's a gold four. Oh my gosh. Look at that guy. Oh, he got me. That I just saw that one side rack. Jeez. I just saw his one side and I was like, there it is. There it is. And of course, no, no, not even close to diamond potential. But look at that guy. See? Nope. Couple big fours there though. Couple big fours. There's another one back in there. Ah, oh, that's just a three. Man, that got me. That got me. This stinking guy right there. We're still gonna take him. Still gonna take him. He should be up there near that 350 range. Oh, bye, little guy. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. Didn't even see all those guys there. All right, this guy's within 150. Oh no, he walked forward. That's just, oof, oof. Made up for it. Made up for it, quick shooting. Let's just take him down. I didn't expect him to start walking like that on me. Sheesh. Well, here he is. Let's look at this guy. This guy actually almost symmetrical. Not quite. The left one's a little different. Actually, quite a bit different. Quite a bit different. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 318. I thought he'd be up there higher. I definitely thought he'd be higher than that. But it's a good looking rack on his right side. Both are pretty good. But that left one is a little, little bit missing of that mass up there all the way through. It's all right. It's all right. Whoa, look at that guy. He's so funky. He's really close, so I'm gonna try and drop him. Holy cow, that guy is wonky. That happened quick. Sorry, I was calling that guy in because I heard him up there. My wind was bad. And I didn't realize he came down already. But look at that wreck. What a wild looking wreck. If there are any more with him. I don't think so. I think he was by himself. Let's check this guy out. Holy cow. Look at that. Symmetrical too. That is trippy. Look at that. 
That is wild. Wild, wild, wild. Wow. I haven't seen one like that before. You guys let me know if you've seen one like that. Because I definitely have not. We'll taxi him because he's so wonky. I think we're going to have to keep him and put him somewhere unique. Well, this might be our last chance at a reindeer. And we might as well take him. Look at that guy. Not a bad looking guy. Up 379. Most likely not going to hit that. I mean, let's be honest. He ain't going to hit that. He was the biggest in that herd there. We'll see if we get lucky, find any others, but we're rolling into musk deer drink, drink time now. And I think we're going to just do a little bit of checking on that. Because again, that's something I haven't gotten yet is a good musk deer. So we might as well check around, see what we can find for musk deer. See if we can't find a good one. Did that guy fall in the water? Hey, he did. I've never seen that before. Yeah, we'll fall... Do a little look of looking around, a little look see, little look see, loo. See about a musk deer. Fine, that might be something cool to get. But before we do that, we're gonna have to pick this guy up. Let's check this out. I've never seen him fall like that before. Ah, oh, he didn't get quite in the water. Sure got close though. 359. Scored better than I thought he would. But not bad looking. And just I don't know. They're so asymmetrical, never symmetrical. Bugs me. I want to see them symmetrical more often. They kind of fix that with caribou at least. At least the caribou stays symmetrical a little bit more often. But these guys don't seem like it yet. But that's okay. That's okay. Maybe that's how they are in real life. I don't know that much about reindeer. I do know reindeer and caribou are basically the same thing. Just to, just depends on... Oh, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Oh my... No way! <gasps> that's a level 5! That's a level five troll. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. And we know he's going to troll. Oh, that's such a bummer. But look at him. Look at him. Look at him. I think that's like just a guaranteed troll too. Like a level five guaranteed troll. This is why everybody hates reindeer. They hate caribou. And look at these guys. Look at these guys. Look at them. And then this guy. This guy. Oh my gosh. What a turd. Let's go over there. Take him down. Yeah, he's attentive already. Wind's not good. Let's go ahead and get that 308 out. And just go boom. Right into the lung. Right into the lung. Let's go over. Pick him up. Guaranteed troll. Such a bummer. I don't think he's close. I don't even think 410 is close. I can't remember what it is. I want to say it's like 450, maybe even 470. But we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll pick him up check out what diamond needs to be. Guaranteed troll. So upsetting. I totally didn't expect to get a level 5. Alright, here he is. Level 5 care reindeer. I was going to say caribou. Like I was saying. Same thing. Guaranteed troll. 391. Not even close. So 430 it is. So I was a ways off. I was thinking it's 450, maybe 470. But 430 it still was guaranteed. 410 was his estimate. Just a guaranteed troll. And I want to say maybe his spread. Plus he's so asymmetrical. Man, that's a bummer. Guaranteed troll. Level 5. This is why people hate caribou. This is why they hate reindeer. They just troll. Just troll, troll, troll. Like I said though, we are getting into must deer drink time. We might as well take a look around. The map seems pretty good for that. For deer and the caribou got a max level maybe we're good for musk deer as well let's find out well musk deer we shall find uh we found the level two actually we found a couple of them i think that's our biggest one but they're all over quite a few level twos some level one females some level one males some of these guys looking really dark if i'm honest with you really dark really really dark making me wonder making me wonder but i think we're gonna take that guy uh that guy there yep 225 them we're gonna use the pistola and then a little low and drop it like it's hot yes sir yes sir let's run over pick that guy up i'm 
That was actually impressive how the 243 did. I like that a lot. I think these guys would be fun with the Glock 10 millimeter, actually. Little guy down right here. I think he's dark brown in color. That's why he would have looked a little bit darker. Yeah, dark brown. 187.53. 249 is what we need. This guy. Not quite doing it. The vampire deer. These guys are pretty cool. I need a good mount for a good a good one. I need a diamond. Diamond are rare. Now there's actually two at this lake that I'm interested in. This one being one of them. Level one, zero to 54. That's what you see for most of the females. I'll find one. There we go, zero to 54. And the other one I'm interested in is that guy. Up to 229, not diamond potential, but a good size one nonetheless. So we're gonna have to try and do this fairly quickly. Cause I think they're, I'm not actually sure why they're moving. Got that guy, got him good. Now we're going to reload and hold a little bit high on him. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Oh, crud held a little too high. I forgot this is actually extremely flat shooting. So he might come back. We'll have to keep our eye out. He might come back. We do have this one we could shoot. We all do that. Let's try to take this guy as well. Yeah, see... This thing is so flash shooting, I totally forgot. I thought we had to hold high because that guy was about 227 out. It's like, let me hold a little high, we should be all right. But, I was totally wrong. Totally wrong there. You see, we have high pressure for two. I'm not sure about that one that we shot that was a level two. We'll see if he comes back in. Little guy first, let's see. Wait, he scored 31.53, barely getting his teeth in. Very small, very small guy to take. Not too small though. I would have liked if he was closer to that zero score where you couldn't even see those fangs at all. And of course, right up here is the guy who went up to 227. What we think? 222. Dang, he yeah, high up there on his estimate. That's pretty impressive. Guy with the left lung liver. Kind of floated off to the right. Might have been the wind pushing that bullet a little. A good one to get, and now we just gotta see if we can find the one we made a bad shot on. All right, probably our last opportunity at Musk Gear. Almost over with drink time here. And yeah, what are we looking at? Got level two up to 204. We couldn't find that one. It's kind of hard sometimes to search here on Medved. That's the only downfall to it is the search is a little bit difficult sometimes but i think if we sink that right there that should have been a good shot yeah it was all right we'll just keep an eye on it because i don't want to lose it this time now it's a decent one to take good one to end on not the diamond i was hoping for but it's one nonetheless as we run over let's recap is medved the moose map you should be grinded on we don't know it's not Without that being on New England maps yet, I can't say whether or not it is. I would still probably take Yukon over this one just because of how much vegetation is along the edge of the lakes. It's kind of hard to grind for moose, but there are quite a few good spots to check. And let's talk about those real quick. This lake here, this coastline here, this coastline here, by far my three favorite spots to check for moose. Now they can be all over the map. But I think those are some of the best spots to check. Here's that musk deer. Uh, got him out. How did I? What? He was facing me right on. How did I shoot that? I'm almost positive he was facing right on. By the way, 167.06 on that guy. Not that great of a score. But not bad to get anyways. Now, like I said, there are other places, this whole area, all right there, over here, you can get them. I do like this one for moose as well, so lots of places, but the main lake is this one. Whether you're going for moose or caribou, this lake is just popping off with moose and caribou. Check that one out. We got that level 5 caribou right there. That's a good spot to check for caribou too, apparently. So... Those are the hot spots, I think, for moose on Medved Taiga. Whether or not you should grind it, that's up to you. Check out all the maps, see what you think.
figure out what you could set up a run for the best because we still have the whole entire river system right here you can check for moves as well that i haven't checked as you can see i have a lot on this map i haven't checked i just kind of know the hot spots and that's usually the only places i go when i'm hunting med bed taiga now all that said i'm super excited for the new map to drop we're gonna try and get a video of it out on wednesday if it doesn't happen we'll get it out to you on thursday just as a special drop kind of my first impressions and hopefully finding something good as an initial spawn on that map so be sure if you like this kind of content like i said at the start of the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification button of course share the video with a friend all helps me and the channel grow and you won't miss out when we go chasing after that great one moose hopefully get it within just a few thousand kills and then last but not least go enjoy a good home with a good friend i'll catch you in the next one